My name is Iona Soper. I've been living at Fastlane Peace Camp since May this year. Everybody has to chip in their bit and do their part. On top of that, you've then got what you can do for the campaign. Slow walking, marches, disrupting what's going on inside, public awareness campaigns, doing stalls, doing outreach, having events at Peace Camp that the public can come to. I went off and did my degree in social anthropology and for my dissertation I was tasked with finding some kind of group of people to study. I pretty much googled communes in the UK, found a big list, Fastlane Peace Camp was on that list. I took a visit out there and do some research. Over the summer I felt almost wrong being there in a research capacity when I felt so strongly that I should be there to help out. When you first arrive there'll be a bit of a residency procedure um, for a couple of weeks where we'll sort of vet you out just to make sure that you're not going to be a danger to anyone at the camp or a danger to yourself. Peace Camp is the longest continuously active protest camp in the world. But the fact that it's still open is, is testament to the fact that it's just become like a hub for Scottish activism. I remember going to London when I was five or six to protest the, the Iraq war. My dad took me and my sister out of school to take us down there and there was like millions of people on the streets, like literally awesome as, as a child, you know, to, to look around and just to see this mass of bodies all moving in like one direction, everyone chanting to feel those kind of ripples of energy going through the crowd, to hear the speakers on their platforms kind of, you know, inspiring everybody as, as they marched, like it, it was, that was wicked. When we think about nuclear weapons and the devastation that they can, they can create, our only points of references are kind of the devastations at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hiroshima, you're looking at 140,000 people killed instantly. Each warhead that we currently have carries up to around about the power of eight Hiroshimas. And I don't think we can wrap our heads around it. 